So a lot of people are ragging on Judge Doro because she left the courtroom so many times. What's going on, everyone? This is Christian Duke. You're watching Everything Else Channel on YouTube, everythingelsechannel.com. If at any point during the video you like it, smash that like button. Please subscribe. It really, really helps the channel and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single video. And by all means, leave a comment down below. So a lot of people are knocking on the judge, giving her C's and D's. As you guys know, I give her a 97, which is an A. It's not an A+. Plus. It's an A. How can you mischaracterize a 97? I think what she did was excellent. However, there's about three points that she didn't get. And, you know, that accounts for telling Gerald Brooks she was scared of him. Uh, that accounts for being too lenient. And that accounts for the subject of this short video. And that is what many of you have pointed out. And maybe I'll make a longer video for Sight Sounds Flavors YouTube channel. But for now, I just want to just touch upon the point that so many of you have made. And that is simply that she left a courtroom. If Darrell Brooks Jr. got under her skin, if Darrell Brooks Jr. pissed her off, if Darrell Brooks Jr. was just unmanageable, if she didn't want to send him to another courtroom, if she didn't want to send him to a cell, she would just leave. But she would leave Darrell Brooks Jr. in the courtroom with the poor prosecutors, the poor court workers, the bailiffs, the victims, the press, and, and nobody knew where she was going. They didn't know she was coming back. Is the judge going to the bathroom? Is she getting a bite to eat? Does she leave a paper at her office? Where's Judge Shore? It's like, where's Waldo? You know, and it's not like, you know, a prosecutor leaving or a bailiff leaving. You know what I mean? It's the judge. So the whole proceeding is stopped. Oh, and don't forget the jury. I mean, I would hope that she'd excuse the jury before she'd just walk out. But maybe, I don't know. Did she? That's a good question. Maybe one of you can answer it in the comments. Could you imagine her just leaving because, you know, she's like fed up with Darrell Brooks Jr.? Could you imagine the jury is sitting there, prosecutors are sitting there, Darrell and his make-believe uh, legal team is sitting there, victims are sitting there, press is sitting there, court workers are like looking around, and the judge is gone, she just leaves. Can you imagine that? I mean, it's pretty bad. And I hadn't thought about that. But you guys, you leave really good comments, what can I say? And when I read comment one and two and three, because it has left a lot of these, you know, it, it dawned on me, wow, that's that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. So, but yeah, was the jury, did she ever, did she ever just like walk out and the jury sitting there, like all 12 of them or whatever, maybe 13 with the alternate or however many there are? That's pretty crazy. I mean, that's, that's pretty crazy. Uh, I mean, I, I, that, if somebody can leave me a comment whether or not the jury was in the room and she would just leave like that, I may have to drop her down to a 95, which is now like an A minus or something. Because the reality of the matter is that would be insane. And others have said, why didn't she have Jarrell's mouth taped? I know that's extreme, but you know, when in Rome, you know, if the shoe fits, I mean, this is a guy who you would even move to a courtroom down the hall and he would yell so loud that he would still be able to interfere, would still be able to to uh, 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 reduce the decorum in the courtroom. I mean, you know, the only thing you really could have done at that point is, I guess, send him to a holding cell or maybe send him back to wherever, you know. I mean, even when they moved him to the other court, he was still making such a racket that they couldn't proceed normally. So, uh, you know... Why didn't they tape his mouth shut? They've done it in other trials. You know, it may look backward. It may look, you know, uncivilized. But, uh, you know, we're, this was a trial for a guy that murdered six uh, uh, people, men, women, and children. Children, too. Don't forget the little Sparks kid. And, uh, and, and uh, injured, what, like 75 people? And would have, and, and as some other folks have made excellent points, would have injured and would have killed a lot more had he been able to. I mean, you know, I think it was Sue Opper. I don't know who it was, but but they said that he should have been charged with a single count of attempted murder for every single person in that parade because every single person in that parade could have been killed by him, could have been run over by him. I got to tell you, like, um, from her being so soft, from her letting him give a 50-minute speech, essentially, with just bunches and bunches of nonsense, and... Uh, her telling him that she was scared of him, 
her standing up and letting him stand up, ultimately making her standing up absolutely pointless, her letting him hide behind boxes, which she only did for like 30 seconds, but that's 29 seconds too long. The second he hid behind those boxes, the second that it looked like he was making a fortress out of his files, she should have pulled the plug on that, but she didn't. When he took his shirt off from the other courtroom, she didn't have the bailiffs get in there and take care of business. She let him get away with so much. The jury nullification, the badgering of the witnesses, the recalling of the witnesses. It was just, you know, just so much. I mean, and again, I'm giving her a 97, but her leaving the courtroom like that, that's pretty bad. I mean, you're not, that's, that's unheard of. I've never heard of that. And it wasn't just a one or two time situation. I mean, kudos to you guys for leaving these comments. These are really, really good comments. And they're very, very thought provoking because the reality of the matter is, is that this was a trial that the whole world was watching. And this is a trial that the whole world continues to watch and we continue to talk about. I really, honestly, I made a video for Sight Sounds Flavors YouTube channel and uh, it was titled, uh, what, if it, what, no, what, if, what if it had been Sue Opera as a judge or something like that? I mean, could you imagine? And some people were leaving comments like the trial would have lasted four days. I mean, that sounds funny, but it, 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 it probably would have been true. There's no way that Sue Opper or the other two prosecutors, had they been the judge, would have allowed just the, 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 the nonsense that Darrell Brooks Jr. got away with. They would never have allowed that. So why did Judge Joro? I, I don't know. You know, but um, but her leaving the courtroom, <laughs> that's, again, guys, if, if anybody can leave me a comment with whether or not, even if it was just one time, and let's remove the word just, even if it was one time that the jury was in the room and she just left like that, that's bad. That's really bad. I mean, if this guy wasn't charged with the absolutely heinous and despicable crimes that he was charged with, if this had been any other kind of trial where there was even a, a, a scintilla of doubt and the judge just up and up left the courtroom like that, that'd be pretty bad. That'd be pretty bad. And I know a lot of you are asking me to make a video on the Reddits, and I will, uh, the Reddits and the mistrial and all of that. I will definitely make a video on that, but but I just had to make a video on the judge leaving the courtroom because I thought, I, I like again, I watched the trial. Uh, I thought I had a pretty good grasp on it, but I'd be honest with you, I totally forgot the times that she just up and up left. And uh, that's that's actually like, a that, that's a pretty big deal. I'm surprised that I forgot about that, but listen, this is a, this is a very, very long trial. Uh, it doesn't mean though that, that that's not an amazing point that y'all have made. And that's why I made the video. And that's why I ask you guys to smash the like button. I ask you to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. But more than anything, I ask you to leave comments down below because I don't just read them and I don't just respond to them. I love the conversations that they generate. But sometimes the comments are just so freaking good. I have to make a video about them.